Hi, Jorge. Let's take a look at your new set of essays, uh, traditional foods, fast food. Let's see what you wrote. Experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated that an increasing and alarming rate. Hmm. Uh, okay, no. That at an increasing and alarming rate, fast food is replacing traditional cuisine or traditional food, all right? That would make this accurate grammatically and lexically. Some believe that fast food actually has an important role in society. Uh, yet, personally, I strongly disagree. These two should really be combined in one sentence. This essay will argue the issues using examples from the UK government and Oxford University to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay. Um... So, let's see. I'm a little concerned. I mean, I'm glad that you wrote your position. Let me state that first. But I'm a little concerned that you're not going to quite capture what you're supposed to be capturing about this essay. This is not about whether fast food is good per se or whether it's bad per se. The question is if there is a negative impact of this shift towards fast food away from traditional food on families, on individuals, and society. It's not a judgment on fast food uh, generally, okay? But on these elements specifically, and this whole kind of moving away from traditional food. So what a lot of people end up doing in this essay is they end up talking about the positives of fast food, and they end up talking about the positives of traditional food or the positives and the negatives of, of fast food, and that's not really appropriate here, okay? And so reading your introduction, that's what I'm a little concerned about, that you're not entirely on topic, but um, and I'm telling you all of this so you understand how important the introduction is. The introduction has several roles. Basically, it's supposed to rephrase the prompt, it's supposed to explain your position, and in explaining your position, it essentially gives the examiner a roadmap to understand where you're going to go with this essay. So it's kind of a mix between task achievement and coherence and cohesion, because if it is really coherent and cohesive, yeah. then what you write in your introduction will really kind of um, uh, mirror what is discussed in your body paragraphs. So all this is really important. And of course, in terms of grammar and vocabulary, um, it gives us a general sense of where you are in those uh, elements as well. All right, so let's see what you said further down. Let's get my mouse to cooperate. There we go. Okay. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that fast food brings a negative impact to local communities. The central reason behind this is twofold. Full stop. New sentence. Firstly, Local food businesses are being affected by a large number of different international food companies by bringing very competitive prices and growing. Mm, there, hang on. Local food businesses. No, no, no. This is wrong. So, local food businesses are being affected by a large number of different international food companies by bringing very competitive prices. No, this is wrong, too. Uh, this by bringing is making it awkward. I have to rewrite it quite a bit, okay? So just bear with me as I try to kind of do this verbally. So, firstly, local food businesses are being affected by a large number of different international food companies, which bring very competitive prices and grow exponentially across the country. There we go. Secondly, personal health is being affected by this new diet, which is based on sugary drinks and meals with high levels of cholesterol. For example, recent empirical research by the UK government demonstrated, careful with your spelling here, that 90% of all the people with diets based on fast foods um, are more predestined to have diabetes or heart attacks, no apostrophe, 
in their elderly years. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that fast food has a negative impact. Well, not on countries, but you this whole time have been talking about individuals, really. So um, I want to remind you about what this is supposed to be focusing. What did I tell you in the beginning? You're supposed to be focusing on families, individuals, and societies. So what are you really talking about here? You're talking about individuals and not really society. I mean, not really. Um, because, yeah, you're talking about human health, et cetera, et cetera. But there's nothing really that relates to how this affects the whole of society. So you have to remember to keep the task in, in mind and to, uh, you know, really tightly focus on that. Let's see what you did here. This should not be one the other hand. This should be on the other hand. So on the other hand, comma, although there is a case for some benefits from fast food, especially economic, comma, get rid of this, where some people in the nation benefit by the exponential growth of fast food chains, the financial impact of bringing international companies to the local market cannot be overstated. This is largely because, no comma here, employment rates have been consistent, constantly growing. For example, an extensive study by, the, by Oxford University showed that over 90% of the, of the local economy across the country has been increasing at a steady rate. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that this situation could bring positive developments and benefits as well. Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. All right. So here, what have you really talked about? You've talked about the financial benefits um, of fast food, but it was really rather general. You didn't tell us again anything about individuals, anything about society, anything about families. So who is being benefited by this? It's not entirely clear. Okay. So, and then the other thing is that you said here, I strongly disagree. So for you to then dedicate an entire paragraph on the positives that fast food is having is really rather irrelevant. You see, all of this needs to be very very tightly tied together. Okay. So when somebody says in a, to what extent do you agree or disagree essay? And they say, I strongly disagree. What we expect to see is an essay where both body paragraphs are disagreeing with what is being said here. Okay. So if you want to do this, where you have one paragraph that talks about the positives and one paragraph that talks about the negatives, you need to outline this in your introduction. And it's really very simple. All you need to say is, despite some benefits to the economy, on the whole, I strongly disagree. So it's really just tweaking this so that your introduction and your body paragraphs all kind of tie into each other. Okay, and that's all right to do. But that's just part of what's happening here. The other thing that's happening here, which is, a, is related to task achievement, is that you really haven't answered the question. They wanted specifically negative impact, families, individuals, society. Now, if I really, as an examiner, wanted to stretch it, I could say that the first paragraph dealt with individuals and their health. If I really wanted to stretch it, I could say, okay, well, the financial benefit has some effect on society. Maybe. Again, it's a stretch because you never actually talked about any of this stuff kind of specifically. Do you know what I mean? But one thing that you never talked about anywhere in this essay was families. The other thing that you never talked about was the fact that traditional foods are being eclipsed. And that's another key point of this essay. So you see this essay, when you first look at it, it looks like it's really simple. It's kind of like, all right, well, is fast food bad or is fast food good? It's really rather, um, it's, it's considerably more complex than that. 
Okay. So it's about this shift away from traditional food into fast food and the effects that that particular shift has on these three levels of our, of our life, of our society. Okay. So this is what you need to be talking about. And if you kind of break down the essay like that and then plan your essay so that you can deal with these different elements, that's really going to like extremely help you for task achievement and for coherence and cohesion. Okay. So, um, let's see. From the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that fast food is bringing more negative effects in society. What? Families and individuals, that positive effect. I don't understand that. It is predicted that if we continue having this diet based on unhealthy food, health problems will increasingly grow. Full stop. Not in importance, but they will grow. Okay. So we really covered this essay. I hope that this feedback is helpful. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions about anything I've said uh, with my feedback, please just let me know, write an email and tell me, you know, Ellen, this wasn't really clear. What did you mean by this? Um, and I'm happy to kind of um, clarify any sort of confusion. Let's take a look at the letter to your friend now. Dear Edgar, this should be a comma and never a full stop, okay? Hope this letter finds you well. Hmm. Full stop. I would like to apologize. All right. Now, check it out. This isn't really how we write our friends. Uh, I'm okay with this. It's kind of semi-formal. It's not particularly informal. I would have liked it more informal, more like you're writing to a friend, a little warmer. Uh, and I, from what I can see here, this whole first paragraph isn't really clear about what the purpose of this letter is, why you're writing Edgar, etc. So let's try it again. Dear Edgar, how are you, my friend? I hope you are well. Uh, I would really like to apologize for not being able to see you when I visited wherever, I don't know, Manila, uh, Vienna, Paris, I don't know. Uh, let's see. With just a couple of days in the city. No, that doesn't work. So I had just a couple of days in the city and a very hectic schedule. So it was impossible for me to meet you. However, I feel deeply disappointed that I was not able to see you, comma, dear friend. All right, it's a little too much in one sentence, but generally it's, it's fine. The main reason why I wasn't able to meet was my grandma's help. Yeah, it's usually N-D-M-A, apostrophe S, full stop. So new sentence here. The night, it's G-H-T, we were, with no H, supposed to head outside together. She started to have, V-E, a very bad head, Ache, that's A-C-H-E, and problems sleeping. Full stop. In a way, comma, I felt responsible for her while the rest of my family was outside of the house attending a funeral. For this reason, comma, it was impossible for me to escape with you for a while. All right, so as you can see, we've got spelling mistakes, lots of spelling mistakes. This is consistent throughout the paragraph. These are going to lower your uh, vocabulary score, so you really need to be careful about this, okay? Um, there are some punctuation mistakes, some grammar mistakes, so just be aware and really, really work on some higher accuracy here, okay? Okay. Now, on the other hand is not appropriate here. We only use on the other hand if we have used in a previous place on the one hand. Since you have not, you really are not supposed to use on the other hand. So take it out and say, uh, fortunately, or you could say, however, eventually I will be back in the city 
next June to be precise, capital J, full stop. This time, I'm, capital I, apostrophe M, going to stay a couple of weeks, For full stop. For sure, comma, this is plenty, with an L, of time for us to have a couple of adventures together, just like the old days. Cheers. Okay. So again, really a lot of punctuation, a lot of vocabulary, a lot of spelling, um, those kinds of mistakes. So I really want you to work on these. Um, the, the, the content was good. So what you included was fine. Details, development, all that was good, but you really got to work on the accuracy because it's a shame for something that is otherwise well-written to really be lowered um, down a couple of bands because of these kinds of errors. Okay. So keep at it. I'm uh, waiting to see more work from you. I'm hoping that I'll see, you know, more accuracy improvements in the next set. So get started and we'll meet back here with your next set. Good luck.